no mai ki te wao nui. Mo te hotaka o te ahiahi, ko Leilani Momoisea aho. Ko Sally Murphy aho. Mo te hotaka o te ata, ko Alex Perite aho. Ko Joanna McKenzie aho. So last year, RNZ started taking some real baby steps on their real Māori journey for Māori Language Week. We did some sign-offs, but it went for longer than that. We're still doing it this year. This is Guy on Espiner's office. This is Morning Report. Come on in. Kei te whakaronga mai koe ki te reo e rarangi i Waotearoa ko te rāhina te tuawha o haki hi e tēnei rā mō te hotaka o te ata ko Guy on Espiner tēnei. That's Guy on and this is Alex. Alex, producer of Morning Report. So how's it been? How's the feedback been to Guy on doing a mihi in Māori? Well usually I'd say every morning we might get two or three negative uh, texts that, that come in saying you know what's this gibberish that's the word we usually mm -hmm. hear a little bit. Um, I find that on that topic and many others we're usually more likely to get negative feedback than positive feedback but if the negative feedback is read out then there's this torrent of real positive uh, feedback that comes in. And so what are they saying? Who are they? Well, a range of people from native speakers to those who don't know what is being said. So you might say, you might get one saying, I'm a 40 year old white Pakeha male and I really enjoy it. They understand it's not really about the news, it's it's the greeting and it inspires them. Some have even said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking up classes now to learn a little bit more about it as wow. well. Wow. And has it made a difference for you? I, I enjoy it. I'm from Australia and I we don't have that kind of um, appreciation for the culture, for the for the native indigenous culture that you know that we have here, and so we're taking it up, and I've changed even the uh, the response, the automatic automated response Ka to the text as well. So, kafai kiora. Oh well, let's find out what Guyan thinks. Kakohua tu o kite ana o Guyan. Morena Guyan kite pepe. Morena e hua kite nini a hala nai nai. Ai kute mutunga tau tera. Ai kite hia. Kai, Here, kai. Aho. <laughs> Aye. Ki. Tawatahi tera. <laughs> Hueno, it's been a year since you began your Reo Māori journey and RNZ. How's it been for you? Oh, it's been good mainly because I've actually um, got around to actually taking lessons and actually trying to learn from some people who know what, what, what they're doing rather than just sort of scribbling away on my own. Um, How does it feel? Books. It feels really good. It feels really good. And I've just done the last of my uh, courses for the year, so I've done my level one with the wānanga and it feels really good to have done that and to be speaking it as well as writing it and using what I can and I feel like I'm just grasping hold of enough to, to, to continue on my journey. So early days but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And so what kind of feedback are you getting because you're the one out there really doing the mihi mihi on Morning Report? Oh yeah there's a lot of, there's a bit of amu amu about it and, and it's come in a bit of grumpiness um, which has come in to Radio New Zealand about this. It seems from a small proportion of very vocal, very grumpy people who've had quite high platforms and they have used them. And look, that's fair enough that they've um, entered the corridor. You know, I think that we're all big enough to have, an ar have the argument and have the debate. Um, but there has been a lot of support too. When you go to those real classes, uh, do you see people like yourself there? Oh, I am. I, I am. So these co courses are really interesting. Uh, a lot of Māori. Um, Quite a few Pākehā and, and quite a few immigrant New Zealanders too. People have come into this country, whether it's from Britain or from India, and they've said, hey, I've got to learn this language because it's part of being in this country. And they are really embracing it and really enthusiastic about it. And look, you know, what I'm doing isn't a lot. And I feel a little bit, Fakama, a little bit embarrassed that there's heaps of real advocates out there who've been battling away on this for years and been copying the real flack at the front line. And so, I, you know, if I'm doing a little bit, it's maybe encouraging others to, to, to take those first few steps. Oh well, kia kaha, haere tonu o mahi, kia pai tō rā, no horo mai. <laughs> kia ora kā kite. And here at RNZ we've even won awards for our reo Māori contribution. Kia ora tauta whiri e te reo Māori. But introducing more reo Māori on mainstream has been controversial. For the last couple of years, RNZ has been ahead of the pack in obsequiousness. Everything indigenous is sacrosanct, and even formerly redoubtable interviewers now shrink from the slightest demure when boring bigots drone on about the mana of all things native. I've come to meet Rawiri Paratene. He was just a young fella when he delivered the Reo Māori petition to Parliament in 1972. Tēnā koe matua. Koe matua. E koe Aye. <laughs> Tell me about that time, 1972, on the steps of Parliament. What we wanted was 
for the for government to stand up and take responsibility and play their role in not just the not just keeping it alive but reviving it and and bringing it back into use at that stage um, Te Reo Māori wasn't even a subject for school certificate. What do you make of the conversation that's happening today? The conversation does still go on and I do understand where especially some of the older people I won't name names but you'll all know who I mean you know there's an older gentleman who has thrust himself forward again and has become an, and is getting a lot of attack from the particularly younger Māori who are even more hōha than I am and um, but I understand where he comes from I'm I'm disappointed that he still comes from there because the generations after him aren't so much of Pākehā, I mean, aren't so much caught up in that place so widely anymore. He called it I remember Tamapuata saying to me, you know, it takes a long time for attitudes to change and our, our journey with the real while these attitudes are changing will be rough and hoha at times then he looked me in the eye and he assured me but they will change the attitudes will change and Tamapuata also posed the questions in times like this when we're having these big real conversations is it revolution or evolution you decide. Fiti te marama i te po, te ahoi o mai koe. Hei karu mo te mata o te po.